Teresa, officially the municipality of Teresa, Tagalog, Bayan ng Teresa, is a second-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 57,755 people. The municipality is named after Reina Teresa Banta, the only female Datu in pre-colonial Philippines. It is situated in the slopes of the Sierra Madre Mountains and is landlocked on four corners by Antipolo City on the north, Angono on the west, Tanay, on the east, and Morong, on the south. Most of the people here are Tagalogs. Teresa is primarily known for the nearby mountain resorts, Villa Sampaguita Resort and Real Cove Resort, formerly Sunrise Resort, Sunset Resort, and Terra Villa Resort. Contrary to some articles, Teresa is actually a valley surrounded by mountains. The town center is located almost at the center of the valley. In an aerial view of Teresa, one would notice the previously vast expanse of agricultural land bordered by marble-rich mountains. The town is passed by motorists bounded for the more inland towns of Morong, Baras, Tanay, Palia, and Laguna and Quezon provinces. Land uses, in hectares, commercial, 1.92, residential, 104.32, agricultural, 1,183.35, protected areas 13,952.41, industrial, ecozone, 710.69, institutional, 112.28, and special, other uses, 123.03. The town's festivals are the Tarumba Sa Mahal na Patron Santa Rosa, held every August 23rd, anniversary celebration of town independence every December 30th, and town fiesta every first Sunday of March. Barangays Teresa is politically subdivided into nine barangays. Bagambayan Dalig Dulambayan May Eva Poblacion Prinza San Gabriel San Roque Calampang Santo Cristo as of the year 2010, there was a proposal to name the eastern section of the municipality as a 10th barangay, the area from the Marcos Highway towards General Nacar in Quezon Province. However, the area is part of the disputed political claim among the municipalities of Morong, Teresa, Baras, and Tanay. History Teresa was first named Oroqueda and was a barrio of the municipality of Morong. As a non-independent town its name was changed to Santa Rosa in honor of the town's patron saint, Saint Rose of Lima. Against the will of its people, Santa Rosa was annexed to Antipolo, which led to animosity between the two towns. Most of the residents preferred to be under jurisdiction of Morong. Unstable conditions led militant leaders such as Mesra. San Esteban, Sto. Domingo, Pio Piriquiquit Santos, Raimundo Francisco, Mariano Silo Francisco, Diego P. Cruz, Santiago P. Cruz, Sabino de Ramos, Platon Gonzalez, Brigido Capli Cruz, Lorenzo Capli Cruz, Saturnino Francisco, and Francisco Natividad to clamor for independence. In 1877 the Spanish lawyer Don Mariano Rodriguez Candelaria assisted the people in appealing to the Spanish governor-general for separate ownership. The appeal was given preferential attention, and Santa Rosa was later declared an independent town. In 1900 the people agreed to change the name from Santa Rosa to Teresa, in honor of the Spanish lawyer's mother, Doña Teresa Candelaria. In 1903 when rebellion broke out, Teresa was again annexed to the municipality of Antipolo. In 1917, the able men of the town again moved for independence with the help of the provincial governor, Eulogio Rodriguez Sr. This move, however, failed due to political reasons. With the help extended by Senator Rafael Palma, the independence of Teresa was approved and declared by the Governor General Charles E. Yeter on January 1, 1919 through Executive Order No. 57, signed December 16, 1918. Roberto de Jesus was appointed as the first municipal president, known as mayor today. Functioning as a town, Teresa comprised three barrios at the time, May Iba, Pante, and San Roque. 
After three years of independence, the town acquired a municipal building on November 8, 1921, which was called Presidencia. Paulino de la Rosa was the second municipal president of Teresa, Rizal. During his term the elementary school building, located in Dalig, was inaugurated. His portrait hangs proudly as the first in the grand entrance of the municipal building in Teresa, Rizal. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Teresa, Rizal, was 57,755 people, with a density of 3,100 inhabitants per square kilometer or 8,000 inhabitants per square mile. Major religious denominations, Roman Catholic 75%, Iglesia ni Cristo 12%, Protestant 2%, Islam 1%, and others 10%. Economy Formerly, the predominant source of livelihood in Teresa is agriculture. But with the opening of the Republic Cement Factory, formerly FR Cement Factory, Teresa Marble Corporation, and ABC Chemical Factory, members of the community have slowly shifted to industry. More, the real estate boom in the 90s caused a surge in the population in Teresa with the opening of the Carissa Homes East 1, Che 1 in Bagambayan, and 2, Che 2 in San Gabriel and Dalig, subdivisions and the La Hacienda, La Montaña and Palazzo estates located at the highlands of Barangay Bagambayan. Annual income is P85,548,638.56 from manufacturing, cement, marble, limestone quarrying, agro-industrial piggery and poultry farms, and operation of economic enterprises, public market, slaughterhouse, Sukal Spring Resort, MRF. Infrastructure basic facilities include one hospital, ten clinics, and one public market. Power is supplied by the Manila Electric Company. Water supply is through the Municipal Teresa Water District TERWD, and Buhay na Tubig Multipurpose Cooperative. Educational institutions consist of one university and college, eight high schools, and twelve elementary schools. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code 2013 National and Local Election Result Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System